summertime heat was kind of nice to get a break from the real hot stuff this weekend. A lot of us were only in the 70s for highs. Well, that's going away in a hurry. In fact, we started to warm up a little bit. High pressure park to our south. This is a hot, high pressure dome, basically, and it's over southern Utah, working its way northward right through our neck of the woods. This line here is the outer edges of that high pressure system, and it will continue to expand into Canada. So basically, temperatures are on their way up tomorrow. Most of us, at least in the Snake River we Plain, will be well in the 90s, and it will just keep getting hotter Wednesday, Thursday, and then back off barely noticeably uh, by Friday, and then we'll see 90s all the way through the weekend. And a relatively clear sky lately with these high pressure systems that throw some monsoonal moisture our way, but not this week. We're going to be hot and dry all week long. So no thunderstorms, no showers. Low temperatures tonight, mid 40s to the mid 50s. We've got a clear sky above 56 expected in Pocatello. That's in town, Rexburg at 49 degrees. Mostly clear for the Central Mountains. Stanley, oh, how's that for cool at night? 36 for low, so just above freezing. Quite a bit warmer than that over in Mackey with a low of 50. Arco also checking in tonight overnight with a low temperature of 50. We've got a clear sky for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Uh, low temperatures, just like Stanley, Yellowstone at 37. 50, though, for a low in Dubois. A little bit cooler than that over in Jackson with a low of 41. Clear sky for the southeast highlands. Low temperatures in the 40s for the most part. Income. You're at 53 tonight, so just a few degrees under what we're expecting in Pocatello. And then tomorrow we have a heat advisory out for Income, Lava, Downey, and Preston. Preston 95. No heat advisory for Montpelier, North Soda Springs, but those 88s are plenty warm. Very warm for this time of year for you. Slightly warmer in the upper highlands in western Wyoming than it was today. That means a lot of us will see temperatures in the mid-80s. Dubois, she'll be in the lower 90s. Yellowstone, that's the place to go. They'll be in the uh, 70s and then even warming up despite a really cold start to the day. Stanley tomorrow will heat up to 88 degrees. We're mid 90s in Salmon, 92 in Chalice. And there's that heat advisory tomorrow for the Snake River Plain. Highs lower to mid 90s. Hardly a breeze out there. So yeah, it's going to take a lot to get us to cool off. Maybe head inside or stay inside all day long. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Heat advisory is indicated by this alert all the way through Friday. Hottest day coming up will be on Thursday, almost 100. We back off just a tiny bit this weekend, but still hotter than usual for the first weekend of September. Wow, we're starting it off hot, aren't we? Teton area seven day forecast. We are in the 80s from here on out going into the new month. And we got sunshine galore. Good camping weather. Just make sure you bring some extra ice and extra water because it's going to be plenty warm. Central Mountains, we'll call it mostly sunny in the next couple of days with highs in the mid 90s all the way through Sunday, Labor Day, 92 and sunny. 